Eating in restaurants in Paris every day can be time consuming and pricey. So in this video, we'll share five restaurants where you can eat in the Marais without breaking your bank. Are you ready to go? I am starving. Allez, on y va. Let's go. So we're here at Crepalog in the Marais, right close to St. Paul. And this place came really highly recommended and I'm glad to know about it because this is another place that you need to know about in the Marais as well. They do crepes, which are the sweet crepes that you know about, and the galettes, which are the saltier version, the savory or lunch kind of uh, crepe. And the one that I got today is crepe Parisian, which has a cream sauce, some ham, some Swiss cheese, an egg, and this salty, crispy crepe, and it is delicious. So, bon appetit. I love a good crepe. It's such an easy meal. It's usually not that expensive, very filling, and they're usually delicious, and this one is excellent. We're right around the corner from the Seine River, so if you're walking by the Seine in Le Marais, uh, close to St. Paul, you come right here, and this is really good. So I got the uh, chicken pita bread sandwich, and uh, it looks delightful. It's got an orange sauce, which I think it's probably gonna be a little bit spicy. And we'll give it a shot, and some nice confit onions. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh yeah. This is a great sandwich. You got the flavor, I don't know what the sauce is, but it's tomato base which explains the orange color. It's got a little bit of spice, the chicken is tender, and you have some onions and some other good stuff underneath. I don't know what I have underneath. It looks like a little bit of, I don't know, vegetables and stuff, but it's really delicious. What a great sandwich. We're in the middle of August, so the Marché des Enfants Rouges, there's a lot of stalls that are closed, but this one remained open, and it's a great choice. They do pita bread, pita chicken, beef, vegetarian, really good stuff. I got the beef pita, which I'm not sure why it has bacon on it, but I love bacon. Ooh, it's a green sauce. Oh, pesto maybe? Look at that. I'm gonna take a bite of this side. Mmm, that pita bread is just crispy and crunchy on the outside and soft and fluffy inside. We've got pesto and beef and cheese and bacon. Oh my goodness. It's got like pickled vegetables in here. It's messy. My fingers are dripping with, um, with oils. There's lots of garlic, so if you don't want garlic, don't try that one, but oh, it's good. I highly recommend trying these pitas at the Enfant Rouge on your Marais food tour. Definitely on the list. So we're here in the Marais and we just picked up lunch from a little place around the corner from the Infant Rouge and it's called Stevenot. They have rotisserie chicken. You can usually see the chicken just going there on the side, but they also have a few other things. And today I got a quarter chicken with some side. I got some gratin potatoes and carrots to go with my chicken leg and thigh and I can't wait to take a bite. One thing about chicken in France is these are farm chicken, not processed and stuff the way they are in the U.S. So like if you're used to a Costco chicken, this one might taste a little bit tougher, but have a lot more flavor. So it's kind of a trade-off. And I did get a little sauce, so I'm gonna put some sauce on here, but let me try the potatoes and carrots first. And I got the ribs encrusted with a peanut brittle sauce. And I'm like, oh my God, I have to try that. Because they had like regular American ribs, you know, barbecue sauce, but I wanted to try those. Oh yeah, oh man. This is very interesting with the peanuts and everything. Man, this is good. It's not the most perfect street food to eat in the park because you're gonna make a mess, but you know, in the park, nobody cares and we're eating that here and it's really good. And French people typically would eat that with a fork and a knife. Oh, this is good. And it comes with potatoes and green beans. It's a great street food find in Le Marais. If you want to have a, um, a good hearty meal, not spend a fortune, this is like 10, 12 euro for this meal, and you have a full meal. And find any place 
around Paris in a little park, little square like this and eat it. It was really good. So we're here at Kuma, Japanese restaurant in the Marais, right around the corner from Hotel de Ville and Rue de Rosier, if you're familiar with that one. And this place, it's, it's tiny, it's intimate, and it is so amazingly good. And today I'm having the karagi curry, which is kind of a, a glazed chicken with garlic curry seasonings and stuff. Um, it's got a brown sauce, not a green or red like I'm used to with curry, and plain white rice. And I was told you definitely need to get it with the egg. I'm glad I did because we've eaten here before and I know that's amazing. The flavors are very subtle. You know, there's a lot of robustness to it, but there's not anything that really jumps out. But the, the two that I get the most is the curry and the garlic, and that is amazing. So let's take a bite. It's a nice big bite. So yummy. The karagi curry is amazing. And I got the karagi done. Check this out. Got an egg. Mm. Oh man, this is good. I mean, if you're in the mood for Asian food, you come to Kuma and this uh, karagi chicken is think chicken nugget extraordinaire. It's just so delicious, moist, and oh, this is amazing. And it's a such a small little restaurant. You just walk by it, you won't see it. I mean, you have to know that it's there. Actually, there's a line of people out the door if you come here a little bit too late because this food is amazing and the pricing by the way we were talking with the uh, with the owners and like their mission is to make affordable food like they don't want to overcharge they will not have anything on the menu that is above 17 euros but it's a really good place thank you i'll take another one please and kuma is japanese street food so they only have eight places to sit inside the restaurant and they're pretty precious you know people wait a long time to sit inside but there's a takeout window outside because it's street food so and if you want to get some takeout from kuma you can go down by the sand you can find a park nearby and enjoy an amazing affordable meal This stop is Bouillon Republic, which is, well, a bouillon style restaurant, which means you're gonna get fast bistro stuff, you're gonna get classic pieces, you can get a bone marrow, you can get onion soup, escargot, the eggs with mayonnaise. But today we got the steak free, classic French stuff, and I got the demi jarre, which is a slow braised pork shank that is to die for. So if you're in the Marais, this is definitely a good stuff. <laughs>